Hey everybody, this is Danny from Mari's Garden and Kitchen. I've got this little greenhouse that I got for Mari for her birthday last week. So while she's inside editing videos, I'm going to set it up and surprise her. Let's see how it turns out. pretty good except I think it's missing two pieces it's missing the arch supports for the top so I'm gonna have to make a phone call and get those two missing pieces They're definitely not in the box that's annoying anyway Hey everyone, Maddie here with a little greenhouse update. Danny tried to call them to see if we could get to deliver the two pieces that would fit here. And unfortunately, we have to return the whole thing. They have to refund us and then send another one. And I really want to start using this soon. So we decided to keep it and I'm going to open here to show you. And we kind of come up with this little solution for the problem. I added a couple of things in here. Those guys, I had these guys here that I use as my hubs for the front yard raised beds. If you watch the garden tours in the beginning of the year, you definitely would have seen this. So they came like this. I, they were very cheap from Amazon. And I just had to kind of like connect them and sort of and put them together and make whatever size I wanted to make them. So they're all kind of used up and bent. I used some of this to, uh, let me get this close, to actually put it inside here. It's not perfect. I hope you guys could hear me. But it's doing the job now. I'm gonna close again so you guys can see. You can see that's round over here, not into this shape. I tried to kind of bend them into the shape, but it didn't stay. But that's a greenhouse situation right now. I am so happy with this greenhouse. I have been looking for a greenhouse like this for so long. It was so nice of Danny to actually go and order this one for me because I had this little one over here that we have kind of moved things around. you see that soon too. We just kind of organized the backyard yesterday and uh, I'm gonna put a little clip of that right after this. But this is the one I was using, which is not even a greenhouse greenhouse. This is from Ikea and it's supposed to be just a storage shelf that comes with this cover. So I... I've been using it because this, this cover, guys, was actually $4. <laughs> and I was putting this in here. Things are doing good, but they're pretty small compared to this new one. That's really large. Hope you can see some scale. I'll be able to fit a lot more things inside here. With my tomatoes and pepper seedlings and everything coming, hopefully soon. So that's why I decided I didn't, that I was not going to return it. I'm just going to use as is and we'll see how it works. Now, let's take a look at the little clip that we did reorganizing the backyard. This is how it looks finished. Well, we probably still change a few things. Major thing, I put the green stock down here and I already kind of set up the planters that my tomatoes are going to be at. I plan to stake them to this fence over here. These are some seedlings that I got at the Union Square Green Market. You'll be seeing a vlog about this tomorrow. Look how beautiful those flowers are. Those are going to be planting my green stock really soon together with these guys. I can't wait to put them up. Probably gonna do it tomorrow or this week too. 
Now let's come up here. We needed more space up here. That's why we took out the green stock. And we just wanted this to be a bit more clear. So we, when we come with stuff from the car, we can just easily unload and get to the house. It doesn't look very exciting now, but when things start growing, it's going to be much nicer. The thing I'm most excited about is this, those little lights that we also put up in here. They're going, in, going to that tree and then go down in the fence there. I still have to take care of those. Those boxes are from the greenhouse and a few other things. I want to take that to the plot to keep doing the no dig beds in there with the compost. I already took the compost there. Try to get that done this week. But that's coming together. Still got those pots in there I gotta wash. But I'll get to that eventually. And this is how our little garden looks. So as I have been working in the garden layout, I have just decided to change things around and kind of have a visual of it. I had a lot of things in paper and paper. This green stock was up there with the other one. But we put it in there and kind of got a feel that it was not really working for us. I wanted to have there to be close from me from the kitchen, but this is close enough. Still gonna be okay. We just wanna make sure it's very, the, the patio up there stays functional too. I don't wanna overcrowd it with plants like I did in the front yard last year. So I've been kind of changing the layout slightly. This is a great time because I can kind of put whatever I had planned in paper in action. So I can see if it's really even though I measured everything and tried to do things to scale, I feel that when I'm here I actually put the things in seeds where I can really have a sense of things are going to work or not. So I might have to redraw some things, but you, I will try to share the final layout in the next coming weeks. But just so you know, I will be changing things around through the whole year because I still think that observing and interacting is one of uh, really something that we should always be doing in the garden, especially if you're new to the space. So this is my first year in this backyard with the south facing sun. The front yard last year had, it was north facing. I know this is better for plants, but also gets too hot. So I will just make sure that, that I keep adjusting and learning through the season. Thank you so much for watching today. If you have any questions about anything, just feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Hope you're having a great weekend and I'll see you next time.